What's good, everybody? Welcome in. I've been shipping some orders. Wherever you're watching this, if you're watching on replay, make sure you follow, do all that good stuff. And uh, let me count up how many orders we have. We have nine eBay orders and then three Poshmark, so 12 orders from yesterday. That's pretty good. Sold quite a few this morning when I woke up. I think I sold five as soon as I woke up this morning. It's so pretty, pretty good. Let me slide you guys over. Everything all set up. Welcome in, welcome in. As you guys are coming in, let me know how your sales were yesterday. Were they good? Were they bad? What was your best sale? All that good stuff. I want to know. And as soon as everybody gets on in, we'll go ahead and get started. What's up, Tam? Tam's in the house. Welcome in. Welcome in. Welcome in. 24 peeps over on Instagram. Got the got the Facebooks and YouTubes loading up. Booty Barber, what's up? Um, sold one item. Let's go. What's up, brother? What's up, Trisha? Welcome in. Good morning, Robin. Good morning. Good morning. Five sales, but pretty good ones. Nice. Had a couple good ones yesterday. A couple mediocre. Just a normal day. What's up, Ashley? Welcome in. Good morning, sweet dreams. Lives in the house. Mallory's here. Everybody's hopping in. Let's go. All right, as you guys are hopping in, we'll go ahead and get started. Let me get the spreadsheet loaded up. Um, start with some Poshmark orders. First Poshmark sale from yesterday was a Polo Ralph Lauren long sleeve shirt. Picked this up for eight, sold for 18. Fees are 3.6. So we made a minimal profit on this one of $6.40, but this one was literally just listed and it sold super fast. So I don't mind paying up a little bit for an item like this if it's gonna sell super fast. I have a question. Um, I have a shipping set for three days. Shipping set for three days, but ship within a day. Does that help my store or do I need to change it to one day shipping? Um, well, when a buyer buys your items, they're gonna see whenever your ship time is set to. So if it's set to three days and they need it quickly, then they might go with somebody else. So it always benefits you to change it to one day. Um, yeah, if you ship everything within one day, I just change it to one day. If you need a little buffer, then just change it to two days. Sullivan and Grape, um, so St. John Tank cardigan set that I got for $5.99. Split and sold for $38.74. Nice, let's go. That's pretty smart. You split it up into two items. A pair of Rock Revival Crops, nice. Next thing, bottom line would be appreciate you. Appreciate you, Chris, for noticing. Yeah, I got my hair did yesterday. Um, sold forums um, snowboard sweater for 38 bought for full, four sold in a day. There you go. Quick sale. That one's shipped. Next up, we got an American Giant jacket. This is a women's. If it was a men's, it would have went for a little bit more. But it was a women's American Giant jacket. Uh, I paid three dollars and twenty-one cents for this. Sold for twenty. So after fee shipping cost goes, I make twelve dollars and seventy-nine cents. Another Poshmark sale. American Giant's really good brand. The women's just doesn't sell as uh, well as the men's. But we just found this a few weeks ago and I bought it and sold it. So, wing wing wing. Kit Kat, what's up? Kit Kat, what's up? <laughs> By the way, if you guys didn't see, I did make a another TikTok account for going live. Um, I can't go live until I get to a thousand followers. So if you guys want to go follow it, wherever you're watching this. Go follow my new TikTok account. If you go look at my main TikTok on my stories, I have the um, I have the TikTok, the new TikTok tagged. So just go on to TikTok, um, go follow that new account. I'm probably not gonna post there. I probably won't do too many lives there, but if you guys want me to, um, to do some lives over there again, you gotta follow it, get it up to a thousand. Yes, I did create a new TikTok account. I was on TV last night. Kit Kat, you on TV? Who put you on TV? What program were you on? Were you on Cops, Kit Kat? Were you, did you make an appearance on Cops again for the second time? Uh, next up, we got a Lacoste crew neck sweater. Uh, picked this one up for $13.38. Sold for $32. So after fees, shipping, and cost of goods, I make a profit of $12.22. I had a ton of action on this. I had like multiple offers. Um, finally got a decent one and took it. Um, do you look for particular size shirts or bottoms, like small, medium? So typically bigger sizes will sell better. So sometimes you'll see me pass, even if I normally pick up a brand, if it's too small of a size, like an extra small or a small, I'll pass on it because it'll sit too long. Um, so yeah, rule of thumb is bigger sizes tend to sell better. All right, 
this one is shipped. And again, these are all Poshmark sales, so that's why I put these all in Tyvek envelopes. Um, you get them for free from USPS.com, and with uh, um, with uh, Poshmark, you can ship anything in those Tyvek envelopes that you saw on Poshmark, as long as it's under five pounds. All right, let's get to some eBay orders. First up is this RLX shirt. I paid up for this. I paid twelve eighty two. I don't know why I paid so much for it, um, but it sold for twenty six ninety nine over on eBay. Twenty six ninety nine. What's up, flipping nurse? What's up, K Flow? Welcome in, everybody. We have a nice, quick, easy shipping live. So we only have twelve orders to pack up, so not too much. Grab my scale. And it's all clothing today. No hard goods, all clothing. Makes it easy. Alright. This one is going to weigh um, 9 ounces. So buyer probably paid for 10. So I'm going to make a little tiny bit of money on shipping. 9 ounces. 5.32. Buyer paid 6.80. Kit Kat says, hi Trisha. What's up, Mr. Daniel USA? Welcome in. By the way, I did put out a uh, video uh, last night. It was really late. It was like um, 11 o'clock, and typ typically I like to put them out by 7, but the house was finally quiet at that time, so I was able to do a voiceover. So go show that video some love. It's out on all platforms. It's a shorter video too, but it's packed full of information. I'm trying, um, I'm trying different styles of videos. Um, to try to see what what works the best um, and I'm no longer doing I'm trying to do minute long videos I used to try to only do minute long videos to try to get monetized on TikTok, but I don't care about getting monetized on TikTok anymore so I'm making shorter videos that will perform better on Instagram YouTube and Facebook so check them out real quick pack full of information um, next up we got a vintage Eli Cattleman um, shirt it does have an embroidery oops it does have an embroidery um, on the shoulder it's like an eagle embroidery Paid four twenty eight. This one took a long time to sell for twenty bucks plus shipping, so I probably won't pick these up anymore. They just took too long. Receive a notification you are on. Let's go. I'm here. What's up, Beverly? Um, I had a new tag. Um, Ralph Warren Parka that sold three times without payment, but four times it sold full price with immediate payment. Let's go. I have three items right now that have um, that are waiting for payment. This never happens on eBay. I have three in a row. Um, so one of them I got to cancel today. The other ones I got to cancel. And one of them is a really good sale too. It's a little toy. It's a little toy I got from um, that train buyout. And it sold for 55 bucks plus shipping. I have like a dollar into it. And the person, the person lives overseas and they haven't paid yet. So I wish they would fix all that for everybody. Uh, why aren't you live on TikTok in Albany, Oregon? In Albany, Oregon. What's in Albany, Oregon? No, I'm not live on TikTok. I got to get to a thousand followers first. Organically get to a thousand. Next up, we got a North Face flannel shirt, paid five thirty-four. This one only sold for seventeen plus ship. I take a best offer on it. I'm just trying to move some old flannels that are sitting. So anytime I get a decent offer on them, I'm taking it. What's good? What's good? Welcome in. Hey, long time follower right there. What's up? Flip a nurse says I have two. Um. Good luck with that, Kate. He's not listening. Um, Wayne, I'm famous. I uh, want my autograph. The Braves game. You were on live from the. Bra you were on TV from the Braves game. Congrats, Kit Kat. I thought it was cops. I thought for sure you were live on TV from cops. You were in the back seat. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not listening. You got to understand. I'm not listening. <laughs> Kit Kat talks the whole time. I can only read so many of her comments. What's good? What's good? Audra, what's up? Welcome in. Audra, I'll read all your comments for sure. I was on the field, it's the anniversary of Hank Aaron's record-breaking home run. I got to hold the sign, got a free shirt, a poster, and a ball from their catcher. Nice, so basically you're a streaker. You broke onto the field, and uh, yeah, and they had to kick you off real quick. <laughs> uh, next up, Athleta, that sold this morning. Uh, we paid $5.34 for this, it sold for $18 plus shipping. Nice, quick, easy sale. She was streaking, I know, she probably was. She's making up this big old long story how she got on the field and all that. She, she was she broke onto the field. There's n nobody in their right mind would be like, hey, come on down. <laughs> oh, I love messing with Kit Kat. All right, this one is put into there. Ten ounces. Buyer paid for ten ounces, I believe. 
Nope, buyer paid for 15, so I'll make a little extra money. Buyer paid 885 for shipping. I'm only paying 545. A little bit of profit. A little bit of profit. If you guys have any questions, feel free to drop them down in the chat. This is a good time to ask your questions while I'm shipping. I don't have too many more to ship. I think I have five more left. Trisha says, hi, Mom. Hi, Trisha. Mom's over there snacking. <laughs> oh, did I ship the wrong one? Please don't tell me I did this again. I did do it again. What did I just ship? There's no way I shipped the wrong one. Hold on, hold on. Chat, I always mess this up in the morning. Which one did I just ship? I guess we'll find out the hard way. No, I got too many items over here. That's what I got. This is a gray Athleta. Hmm. Did I over grab an item? I think I did. Hold on, chat. This one doesn't belong over here. Oh, that might be a Mercari sale. Is it? Hmm. We'll figure that out afterwards. Um, orders. Hang on, chat. I find my shipping labels again. Da, 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 da. Shipping labels right there. Um, do you only have one store on eBay? Yes, I only have one store. I'm not one of those people that have multiple stores. Hang on, you gotta figure this out really quick, chat. I gotta figure out which one I need. I have two Athleta tops here, and I only need one. Orders, all orders. I mean, it's the biggest brat. Um, no way in there. There's some 15 of us. Jealous much? I am a little jealous. I'm not gonna lie. I don't. I don't watch baseball though, so I'm not really jealous. AZ6. Yeah, this one. This one goes here. So where is that one? I don't know where that one's from. Just gotta reprint this label. Okay, this is the Athleta top. I have two Athleta tops here for some reason. Um, this one goes into this bag. Sold the Posh Bundle over 10 pounds. Can I ship the extra on my own uh, once I have the address? Um, so if you sold the Posh Bundle, um, you can ship them separately. Poshmark doesn't allow it, it doesn't really like it, but you can ship them separately. Just understand that you're not protected. So if that person states that you didn't deliver all of the items because you shipped them in two different ones, you're gonna be screwed. <laughs> Um, I always split the shipments. If somebody bundles a whole bunch of crap and makes an offer, I will tell them, sorry, you can only buy X amount because I can only ship up to 10 pounds. Um, so you're not covered if anything happens. That's the unfortunate part. So you could ship it. I mean, probably, probably it'll be fine, but just in case, just understand <coughs> you're not covered under Poshmark shipping rules because you're not shipping via Poshmark and my allergies are bad this morning. All right, let me put that one off the side because I don't know where that one came from. Next up, we got another pair of those Ariat jeans. Those people that told me not to pick these up because I paid too much for them. Last pair sold. I paid $25.68. This one sold for $40. It would have sold for $50, but it had a couple small stains on the front, but it still sold for $40. So um, all three of those Ariat jeans sold within two weeks, I think. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. All of them sold. I love picking up Ariat, especially the FR jeans. They move so fast. All right, that one's gonna ship for three pounds, a little heavier, a little heavier jeans. Three pounds, they're shipping for $6.72. Buyer paid $11.60. 1160. Pick up two pairs of Ariat for five um, at the flea. Fingers crossed the Grayson shorts for last week were, weren't there. Ouch. The Grayson shorts weren't there. But you went back and you got some Ariat, so you'll make some money on those. Even women's Ariat do really, really well. I listed a pair of Peter Millar pants, 32 by 32 per tag. I posted pics of the NC29. Stay in the description. Check the pics for purchasing. Um, this is my standard practice. Um, so what I would do is I wouldn't put in the title 3232 because somebody who's not going to read your description, if they buy your item and they don't read your description, they're going to return your item because they're going to say, you said it was 3232, but there's a 29 inch inseam. So I would put in your title that they're a 32 waist, take out the times 32, and then put in your description what the inseam is. Um, and also fill out all your things. And then in the description say, 
Um, it's tagged as a 32, but it measures to be a 29. Please see photos if you have photos of that, like a photo of you taking your measurement or whatever. But don't put in the title, because if somebody buys your item, they're going to expect a 3232, because that's what your title says. That's that's what I would do for that. Next up, Icebreaker. Really good brand to look out for. Uh, Pay $13.38 for this one, and this one sold for... $36 plus shipping. Really, really good brand. If you ever find Icebreaker, always pick it up. Um, Icebreaker, anything, pick it up. Um, I sold a pair of pants Icebreaker earlier this week and then just sold this um, sweater. So, yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't. Some people read your description, uh, Pamela, and they'll understand, but then other people will buy it and then get it and be like, you lied to me. And be like, no, it says it in the description. They'll be like, well, that, that, that's not. You should have told. You should have said it was in the title because that's all I look at. So just be careful. Just try to make it as easy for your buyer as possible to not create a return for your item. All right, that one shipped. I wonder where that athletic came from. I'm perplexed. Oh, I bet you I grabbed the wrong item. That's what I did. I grabbed the wrong item. Next up, we got a um, Ralph Lauren. Shirt, picked this up for 1070, sold for 30 plus ship. This is one of those denim Ralph Lauren shirts. I always pick these up because they always sell really well. 1070 into 30. Easy peasy. Do I ask Posh for a second label? No, you can't. You already accepted the you accepted the offer. There's nothing Posh can do. Um, you'd have to cancel that order and then have them repurchase them in separate bundles. Um, so I would just ship separately and just you know try to get as much as you can in that 10 pound box. And then the other you know, whatever pounds, two pounds, three pounds, ship separately, and then just message the buyer and let them know that it's coming in two separate packages and to please accept the order as soon as they get it. Um, Chris just had a big order like that. He was contact. He was talking to me about, um, yeah. So that's what I would do. How to measure inseam. I've seen it done two different ways from the crotch to the um, bottom of the cuff. Take it from the middle of the crotch to the bottom of the cuff. That one shipped. <clears throat> I'm only gonna ship. I have two more sales, but I only have one more item because I grabbed the wrong item. But this is an Abercrombie, or not Abercrombie. This is a City Chic women's dress. Picked this up for five dollars and thirty-four cents. It sold for eighteen. It wasn't really a great sale. It sold pretty quick, but not enough profit. So you probably won't pick these up anymore. Um, it's kind of a test item. So, so thrifty juice. Size does matter. Yes, it does. Oh, it's baby clothes. Yeah, so try to fit as much as you can, 10 pounds in one one box. Hopefully you made a good profit on those because your label was expensive. 10 pounds, it's a dot, what is it? A, it's like a dollar, two dollars and 50 cents extra per pound or something like that on Poshmark. So if you sold like a, a 15 pound bundle and you didn't make too much on the items, yeah, that wouldn't have been worth your time. Um, this is going to ship for six oh nine. Buyer paid eight sixty. I wish eBay um, would make bundles um, as straightforward as Posh. It's just a hassle on eBay trying to make a bundle deal. Yeah, if they add them in the same um, cart and they buy them together, it's really easy. Um, but if they don't, then you gotta you gotta put them together at the end. So <clears throat> you gotta put them together at the end. And like I said, the last order I have is an Abercrombie big shirt. This has been AY. Is that why I grabbed it? Yeah, I did. I grabbed the wrong item. So this needs to go back to the bin. But this, um, the Abercrombie shirt was an Abercrombie big shirt. I paid $4.28 for it. It's a nice, big, heavy flannel shirt. Older label. Older Abercrombie is back. So if you find any of the older labels, pick them up. And that one sold for $30 plus shipping. Um, because the ancestor's feeling okay. Well, Jacqueline, you are going to get blocked. <laughs> Just, uh, not, whatever. Um, I'm having trouble on eBay um, this morning. I can't seem to get my drafts to load. Maybe it's the internet. It might be the internet. Mom was doing drafts earlier. She didn't have a problem with it. So it might be, might be internet. Might be something with eBay. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I haven't tried to do any drafts today. Just woke up and started chipping. I was up late last night brainstorming and making videos. How many sales today? We had 12 orders. 12 orders. Is there a page to identify older labels? I just Google them. Um, after a while, when you thrift enough, you'll recognize the older labels and what they look like. But um, you can always Google like what an old Abercrombie piece is. Or just type in vintage Abercrombie on eBay and then scroll through and look at all the old labels that people have they have listed. Easy way to tell. Um, just go through eBay. 
All right, chat, I'm going to go ahead and head off. Um, that's 12 orders out the door. Um, I'm going to be live tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time at Red, White, and Blue on YouTube. So make sure you go follow on YouTube. We're going to be live, and Chris will be there. I don't know if Chris is doing a live. i got to ask him, but he might be live too, so I'm going to have two people on live at the same time, plus Kayla. So all of us at the same store, um, and then me and Chris are going to go afterwards to some more stores so make sure you're following on youtube so you'll get a notification as soon as we go live i'm going to make the live today so you guys can go like bookmark the live early or hit the like bell notification on the live um and then you'll get a notification as soon as we start so i'll make sure i post that and i post it to my um my instagram and my uh facebook story so again go follow my new tiktok if you want me to go live on tiktok i need to get to a thousand followers i think i'm over 100 right now so I need to get to a thousand. So I have that story on my TikTok page. It is um, easily clickable. You just go into my story and then um, the, the new account is tagged at the bottom. You click that, hit follow, and then um, follow me there so I can go live there eventually. Again, I don't know how often I'll go live there, but at least I'll have it. So if I want to go live, I can. And I appreciate you guys hanging out. And I'll catch you on the next one.